Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy my painting videos. Today I'll be doing a sunset scene. So a lot of the subjects on the foreground will be more of a silhouette type. It will be really, really easy. I'll make sure that uh, I'll make sure to do my best in order for the painting tutorial to be as easy as possible to be followed. So let me tell you the colors first that I'll be using for today's painting. We have red, burnt sienna, orange, black, lemon yellow, and primary blue. So all the colors that I just mentioned will be listed in the description box below so that you can refer to them, you know, even after watching this video. So I'm going to sketch first the subject. And I'll be defining first where the horizon is going to go. So for the horizon, I'm just going to use my, I'm just going to use my black, okay? So my horizon will be not the midsection, but a little, like, just a little below the midsection. So if this is the midsection, or the midline, okay? I'm just going to go right under it, here, okay? I'm just going to continue it and form a straight line. Alright. Okay. Don't worry too much if your line is not straight. Mine is not straight either. But as we go, um, we'll be correcting areas that are quite imperfect. Alright, now... Let's underpaint the skies and the waters. For the underpainting, I'm just going to use my okay, yellow. Mix it with red. Okay. And brown. Okay, maybe a little bit of orange and yellow. So again, I'm going to add a little bit of brown gonna add water so that it flows smoothly on the canvas and I'm just gonna drag that color actually this is quite dark I forgot that we'll be using white so get your white but we'll use that later I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow just to lighten the orange color a bit it's too orange so I'm just getting a little bit of yellow just lightening it remember to use water if you need to Um, try to avoid getting hard lines. Okay, I'm just removing some dried acrylics. All right, like that. I think I really need to get my titanium white. Okay, using my titanium white, I'm just gonna go up. Okay, try to blend. Again, try to go up. If you notice, I'm going diagonal with my brush strokes here. Okay, I'm gonna get my pure yellow, lemon yellow. And I'm just gonna drag that color diagonally on the canvas, trying to blending the colors. If you're having a hard time blending, just use more water because usually that's the cause why acrylics are difficult to blend. Okay, I'm going to get my pure titanium white again. Just add that white right here. Okay, more white. more orangey colors again try to blend all right like that okay wash your brush out okay I'm gonna get my primary blue Okay, 
mix that with white and a little bit of red just to make it more purplish okay I'm gonna tone down the color by adding a little bit of black okay like this maybe a little more red because I want it more purplish than bluish okay I'm gonna go and apply it right here okay I'm gonna use water okay I'm gonna get my white try to make some blending going on and try to blend this is just the first layers of our sky color we'll go back to this later again I'm using my fingers if you've been uh, following me on my channel you probably have seen me 100% using my fingers in all of my videos in applying my colors all right wash your brush out I'm going to darken that purple by adding more red and then blue, more blue, and black. Just going to apply dark skies. The purpose of dark corners is to frame, to frame as well the painting. Okay. Again, try to blend as much as possible. All right, like that. And I'm going to use the same color over here on the corner. Okay, I don't mind doing some circular patterns right here because we want to suggest the asymmetrical patterns of nature all right like that i'm gonna wash my brush out all right now i'm gonna get my pure yellow just paint over this area that we've already painted on that gonna get my white brightening this portion of the sky you know my canvas paper is quite absorbent that's why even if you think or it's um it appears to be that my colors are already thick somehow the colors are being absorbed by the canvas that's why I keep on layering even after the first layer. Okay, I'm going to get my orange. All right, I'm going to wash my brush out because the white is mixing with the orange, making the orange look more pale than highlight strong. It should be a highlighter orange like this okay I'm gonna mix with yellow The left side will be covered with a silhouette later so don't worry too much if 
I'm focusing more on the right side. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of orangey colors. like that just play around those colors that we have here okay like that okay i think i'm gonna do more layering of the blue and the purples i'm gonna get again my red and blue to create that purple color making it darker water I must say that this is a messy painting because I'm using my fingers a lot like a lot I'm going to get a little bit of white just to lighten. Right, wash your out. I'm gonna get again my yellow. I'm gonna mix my yellow with my white so that I create that creamy yellow color. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna get again my white just to brighten that we'll be doing some clouds later but I'm gonna allow the paint to dry okay so we're gonna go back to this area later for now let's be fine with it Trying to blend. All right, so let's go back to this area later because I'm starting to obsess over the sky colors. So remember, or if uh, some of you don't know already, um, the reflections of the sky will be on the waters. Therefore, similar, similar if not the same, colors will be used for the waters. But then the reflection is more, is the distorted version of what is being reflected. So we're going to go differently, a little quite differently from doing the skies. So again, let's go back to doing some orangey colors. So get your orange. Mix it with yellow, or maybe this mixture is, is good as well. We're gonna go more horizontal this time. I'm gonna add white, burnt sienna, 
orange so it'd be this color we're gonna color the waters okay again if we're going diagonal in the sky portion we're gonna go horizontal with the waters because that's just how it is I'm gonna get my yellow get your pure yellow maybe add water so that the paint um, flow smoothly okay. I'm gonna get my white as well so as you can see here I'm just going horizontal with my brush strokes nothing um, difficult about that I think I'm gonna get my yellow a little bit of orange Okay, and then yellow and I'm gonna use a little bit of burnt sienna okay All right. I'm gonna go back to that let's do the corners so again I'm gonna get my purple this time I'm gonna darken it even more All right, let's go. These are reflections of the clouds. These are not reflections of the, the sky alone. Just retain that horizontal brush strokes. Just retain it. Okay, I'm gonna make some light brush strokes of that color over this area of the waters. I'm just adding white to make it more um, opaque. Okay, wash your brush out. I know that this doesn't make sense at the moment. Everything looks abstract and we don't want that for now. I'm gonna get my orange and yellow. Let's go and go into those tight spaces. Doing still horizontal brush strokes. Okay, I'm gonna get my pure yellow. All right, this is pure yellow. And immediately after doing some pure yellow, let's get a white. Again, horizontal. Okay. 
make some yellowy colors. All right. We will go back to this area later. For now, let's go and sketch the silhouette of, it's like a beach, uh, I don't know how to, it's like a beach house, something like that, that is located on the waters, on the shallow waters. So yeah, I'm gonna get my black. So for the silhouette, let's just use black. Okay, I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna sketch. I'm gonna cover it with black. So just paint the silhouette like a solid black. You don't have to worry too much about, um, this is absolutely a beginner's course or a beginner's lesson. Okay, I'm gonna change my brush. It's getting a little difficult. Now we're going to do the reflections using black still. Okay, maybe I'm going to add a little bit of purple. Purple! <laughs> I can't even pronounce purple. So I'm just going to use that color and we're going to go horizontal again. Remember to darken it so that um, it's clear that it's the reflection.
Let me check. All right. Okay. We'll be doing some clouds, as I told you. Here. I'm gonna get some gray, so I'm gonna add white to that existing black. Like maybe this gray. Just to soften those reflection edges, try to soften it because um, reflections are not as they do not have those hard lines as much as the thing that is being reflected. So just to soften it a bit, just like what I'm doing here. Okay. Let me check. All right, that's good. And I'm gonna fix this area because as you can see, it's quite bald. So I'm gonna fix that later. Okay, now I'm gonna wash my brush out. Maybe I'm gonna fix the roof like this. Okay, I just fixed that. Okay. Now let's get more purple, okay? So I'm gonna get, again, my red and blue. Red and blue and then white, making it really, really purple. Purple, <laughs> I'm gonna add black so that I tone down the color. More black, all right. And then let's create some clouds. Okay, I think I'm gonna use more black. So as you can see, I'm just dry brushing, trying to create some cloud-like brush strokes in the sky using dark purple. And don't make any particular pattern here. Just be okay with whatever it is that you get every time you do your brush strokes. Just be okay with that. Clouds are not supposed to be the same. Now, if you're not like me, who is not scared of using my brush in a very rough way, you can use your brush in a softer way. You don't have to copy my style of applying the cloud-like um, patterns here. 
uh, you can use a very gentle brush strokes. It's just that I don't want to um, do that. I don't want to be slow. And it's okay if I ruin my brush. At least it gets the job done. Okay, so here I'm gonna create smaller clouds to suggest perspective. Small clouds. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of white to my existing purple. I'm just gonna go around those dark clouds, highlighting the edges of the edges or yeah, it's like outlining those dark clouds with some light purple. Okay, I'm gonna use the same purple color down here okay, to suggest more perspective down here some low clouds or distant clouds they're not really low but they seem kind of uh, low because of perspective and because the earth is round, that's why they appear like lower, that's why. I'm just going to darken. Okay. I'm going to apply some light purple just on top of the horizon line. Okay, you can hear, I don't know if that's an ambulance or a fire truck, but, or a police, I'm not sure. You can definitely hear it on, okay, you can, he you can definitely hear it while watching this video. So those are the reflections, or those are the things that are being reflected right here, down here. So I'm just going to add more horizontal. Keep it horizontal right here, or down here. Keep it horizontal. Gonna get more white, lightening it a bit. Let me check, it's absolutely nice. I'm gonna make some corrections on the clouds later. For now, let's just fix this bald, um, bald um, thing that I forgot to paint. 
So I'm gonna get still my orangey color just to be consistent with the colors right here. I'm gonna get my orange and yellow and maybe burnt sienna and white. Yeah, maybe more orange. I'm gonna try. Okay, I'm gonna darken it. I'm just gonna darken this portion. So here, apply some dark orangey colors. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna use a fairly big brush, okay? And let's go back to the clouds because I want to create more dark clouds. I'm gonna get my red and blue. If you have your purple, that's good. You can actually use that directly. It's just that I don't have my purple so I'm just gonna mix my colors and create my own purple. So I'm gonna go back to the clouds to create more dark clouds. Just recoating it. And I'm going to soften the colors. This is good. Okay, now I'm going to lighten some areas. I'm going to get my white and spread some light colors right here. I'm trying to be careful not to mix with the purple because I just applied some purple. But if I... If I accidentally mix it it's all right I'm just gonna go with it okay I'm gonna get some more light yellow Okay, 
and some light colors. This is just so fun to do, I think. I don't know why. Okay, I'm just lightening it. check okay really nice really really nice but I think I need to add a little more of sky blue color to so get your blue and then white so it's more of sky blue like this and I'm gonna go somewhere here in between those dark and lighter colors to create some sort of gradient effect Some of that color is right here. All right, it's really good. I'm, gonna I'm just gonna spread some light blue colors. Yes, I like it. I really, really like it. Oh my gosh. Okay, now let's go back to the skies because I am obsessed. Some light, more light blue colors. You can see that. Okay. And then I need more pure white. Here. Okay, again. Retain that horizontal. Okay, I'm gonna get my pure yellow and I did not wash my brush. I'm just gonna go around uh, that white spot, really bright. I'm gonna get more orange.
orange and yellows. Okay, I'm obsessing over the sunset colors. Okay, I think that's good. Right. Let's just fix this area. Alright. Small clouds. Okay. Here. I'm just doing now the finishing touches. We're basically done. Okay, I'm looking at it. All right, let me just get my black and then do some more fixing. All right, this is nice, guys. So I'm gonna sign this now. I think we're done. We're done. So I'm gonna sign this. I'm just gonna use my white since I do have a lot of it. And I'm gonna sign right here. Ooh, it's quite watery. We're done. We're done, guys. So I hope you enjoy this one. It's quite simple, but I really absolutely love it because of the colors. So I hope you enjoy this one and I hope you do this one as well. If you like this video, like this video, share this with your friends so that they know that I exist and see you in my next video. Bye guys. Love you.